world has been talking about the need to invest in climate compatible infrastructure for 20 years and has been bemoaning the fact that those investments don't take place. We have involved the development finance institutions, uh, many private sector actors, and of course governments and other players in specific countries. But the truth is, is that the numbers still don't add up. We are a long way away from making the investments that are needed, both to reduce the threat of climate change and increasingly to manage the adaptation and resilient challenges associated with climate change as it happens. This paper seeks to offer a reframing of how best to understand that challenge. Instead of adopting a traditional cost-benefit analysis, risk pricing, it's not profitable enough. We need blended finance or additional subsidies in order to make these investments. We have sought to overlay or complement that perspective with a reframing based on a changing understanding of what infrastructure really is, particularly as infrastructure becomes technologically more intensive. Yeah. A change in the way in which the underlying business models of infrastructure function, the rentalization of infrastructure, the shared economy, the circular economy, and a change in the way in which the fundamentals of the financial system work, particularly through disruption by digitalization, which creates a new set of financing avenues and a new set of financing business models. Through that, we have developed a set of critical uncertainties that allow us to look at the future in a distinct way that is not simply reduced down to single numerical pieces of risk. Uh, and from that to evolve a set of scenarios through which we can begin to evolve strategies for addressing the financing gap, um, taking these various critical uncertainties and evolutions in technology into account.